guys I'm here back with Forza Horizon 3 uh, I wanted to record the first uh, 30 minutes of gameplay but I had a problem with the microphone so I wasn't able to capture any any mic so anyways the first 30 minutes of gameplay it's just the same for everyone I chose uh, my starting car to be this uh, Australian pickup sort of truck car I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna start playing a little bit, show you a bit of this game. Uh, I've waited for a long time to have a Forza on the computer. Uh, I had it back in Xbox 360, 360 but not the Horizon, if not uh, the Forza Motorsport 4, I think, in that moment. Anyways, this game is a little bit more arcadey. I already changed some settings as you have a manual shifting and no assistance. Looks really great. Uh, even though I have it on low quality, uh, the game looks really good. And well, anyways, let's check it out. If I can, let's check check it out and let's see if I can make it good at least a little bit. Uh, Currently, I have to, you know, win a couple of events in order to get uh, to customize the car. I think I still I still haven't locked the the garage, as far as I know. So let's let's check it out. Meters, keep right. For the most part, the game, even though it's on low res, looks really good, and I'm liking it quite a bit. Meters, turn right. I'm still getting to I'm still getting used to the controls. And in 400 meters, turn left. With everything on, the assistance, it's not really that challenging. Turn left. Once you turn everything off, it sounds really good. I still have to to get used to it before uh, I enable the clutch. Uh, currently, I'm doing this manual shifting without clutching. Seems quite a bit too much to be playing on the controllers, not as intuitive as it should be uh, to play with a clutch with a controller, I have an Xbox controller right now and of course I apologize for my condition, I'm a little bit under the weather uh, right now so that's why uh, you can hear my voice is a little bit off and it sure isn't comfortable at all of course, it makes me more difficult to be understood, and I apologize for that in advance. But it's just how things are, and I didn't want to keep, you know, from making this video. So anyways, I was just fooling around a little bit here, I'm going to do an actual race right now. See how it goes. Of course, I have my settings on kilometers. I just keep forgetting that this is Australia, and I should be driving on the left. Hey, Martin, this is a circuit race. All asphalt route. Specified number of laps. Yes. Sounds simple enough. Okay, exhibition. The game classifies this car as a van, which for me it's okay. Exhibitions are big with the fans. So are skill chains. Remember, they don't just want you to win. They I love how she talks. Really, too. the Australian accent. I like it. Uh, here we have, you see the the eight, the eighty percent reward for difficulty gives you quite a boost when you finish the race in terms of credits. Those credits you can use to buy cars, as you may probably know. I think that car uh, is a Subaru Brat, which. Actually, a nice car. I like it. It's fun. As you can see, I'm handling issues due to the the assistance being off, and I'm off to a bad start. I think I might probably just restart the game. And. Even though I'm not in the US, I was able to buy this game on the Microsoft Store 
uh, just by putting a, a US uh, address on, on my account. Uh, if you're willing to do that, it cost, uh, the game costs 60 bucks US dollars and you know, you, if you, you're willing to do this, you most probably should choose a, an address in Oregon, which is a state that has no tax, so it just costs 60 final. Uh, okay, sorry about this, I will have to restart. And as I was saying, yes, I, I bought it for 60 bucks and no tax, so that's just the price. I think it's worth it. As far as I have been playing, just couple of minutes, 40 minutes to say, uh, it's quite a fun game, it's not that easy once you turn the assistance off, it's actually quite challenging, because once you enter the dirt, it's very easy to, to get off track, there is no steering assistance as well, which is a bit weird because the car doesn't turn what I think it should turn on the, it should turn a lot more on on the curves. It's very easy to spin out. I don't know if it's because this car is actually uh, rear wheel drive. So I think I'm gonna restart it. But I'm going to put the traction control on. Because I'm spinning a lot, a lot I'm spinning out. The steering is really off, I mean doesn't steer at all. I don't know if I'm doing things wrong or what, but it's really difficult to make this car to turn. What the f the actual fuck? Let's see if I turn this thing to first person. It makes any difference? Maybe I'll be able to concentrate a little bit more. some troubles uh, hearing the, the revs of the car, I think I will have to turn the volume a little bit up because I can't be... for fuck's sake. It's really frustrating uh, that I can't get this car to turn on the curves. Really. I'm still getting too used to the controls. My disaster. <laughs> really. <laughs> Thing is, if I turn everything off and it's just like driving and getting to do things, you know, staying on the track with all the assistance on, it really isn't that much fun, you know. The fun about the thing is, about the game is to get it to be a little bit challenging, at least a little bit. Oh, I think the, the problem here is uh, the track is also wet. 
makes my car just flip a little bit. This turn is fucking difficult. Man, for fuck's sakes. Come on. I'm getting a lot of points for for landscaping the track. You are a disaster. But guys, seriously, I invite you to get the game and try do the same thing as I as I am doing here and with an Xbox gamepad as well. I'm not using a, a wheel, which would be nice. And of course, I finished last. You probably wanted yeah, to try finishing course. last just to see what it felt like, right? Gotcha. You can go back to winning now. I still got a lot of praise for that. Probably more than I deserve. Wheel spins offer big credit and car prizes. It seems like you can CSGO. Even win uh, in edition cars. The CSGO boxes. The game is quite rewarding, even if you play like shit. I mean, I just finished last and. Anyways, I'm gonna see if I can do another event, make it more easy. Just checking out our plans for world domination horizon. America, check. Europa, check. Australia, check. Our festival has landed with our brand new site at Byron Bay. This is where it all starts, people. So get down here and join the conspiracy. Soon. Soon we I think that the, the cars that are on the street are actual real cars, then, not just some, some amazing racing you know, low poly like generated model. In 100 meters, turn right. Turn right. Danger sign. These are hazardous locations our scouts have identified and cordoned off for your safety. Or so you can easily find the best and craziest stunt jumps in the country. Whichever you prefer. You have arrived at your destination. Still alive, Bob? Excellent. They love that one. I'll tell the scouts to find more. Meanwhile, I'm about to go and have a very lively phone call with our insurance company. Hey, Martin. I've just been down at the Byron Bay site. You can barely move. People are everywhere. I think the time has come. Meet me there when you're ready to start the expansion. Okay, festival expansion. Get down here, boss. We're bursting at the seams. Let's see if I can, you know, at least get to customize a little bit this car. It's strange well, that the plate just disappeared. Just Maybe so. it fell off. I think I should have gotten the, the BMW. When you started the game, you had the choice to pick up uh, between four cars. And I wanted to pick something different, so I, I picked the van, but you had a BMW, a Mustang, which was really the obvious choice, and a Japanese car, I think a, a decent Sylvia. I don't remember really what. So I wanted to pick up something different. You know, just because I wanted a new experience. Turn sharp left. Horizon, this is Scott Tyler of Base Arena. I got a question for you. Who likes running into stuff? I mean, like on purpose. I know it kind of defeats the point of a nice, clean racing line, but if you're in the mood to smash something, the organizers have told me to spread the word about bonus boards scattered around Australia. Good for bonus XP and cheap, fast travel if you break them over your hood. This game has a, a lot of off-roading, which is uh, nice. I mean, it's, uh, and this is different. In 400 meters, turn right. The game is really beautiful. Route. 
adjust the scenery even in this low res setting. The car is broken or what, but it's going really slow. Turn left. So, anyways, uh, I know it's been a long time since I do a video. Uh, I've been focusing on my work and studies, and but I didn't want to pass the opportunity on, on doing a couple of videos about this game. Uh, my free time, I, I was. Uh, Playing a lot of CSGO, which I was able to buy on a sale, right. Steam sale. I really is a fun game. You know, I haven't been playing Counter Strike since 1.6, but I really found out that CSGO, you know, I should have tried it earlier. It's, it's, it's a really fun game. You have arrived at your destination. And, uh, well, let's see about this. Let's check it out. I think we might just stay in Australia. It's awfully nice here. Welcome to the auto show. Oh, nice. Love your work so far, boss. Kira said I should get you set up with another car for this next set of races. Take a look at these, and whichever you Finally, fancy, you can get to buy a car. Keep. I wish I had the Jeep Renegade, which is uh, that car. I love the Jeep Renegade, the new Jeep, that small Jeep. Really, I really like it. I hope I have the money to buy it in real life. It'd be a great car. Anyways, the BMW, the Jeep, Lamborghini, of course, that would be the obvious choice. Uh, Land Rover, uh, quite an urban car. But I'm gonna go with the Grand Cherokee. It's the one that I like the most, really. I know we like to say Horizon is all about the music and cars, but of you course. know what? The painters deserve a shout too. Some of the stuff these guys produce should be in a gallery. You can check out what paint jobs people have done here and choose one for your car. I'll do my own paint job, of course. Once I get the time, I'll do my own paint job. For sure. So cool you can get you can get it video wrapped. I liked I was just thinking about doing custom page up with something like this, but you can get it off. Yeah. Let's see how it looks in yellow, this car. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. For now, for now, I may do a video later on customizing it. That would be cool. your new car. You can just stay here and admire her beauty if you like. Or if you want to add any visual upgrades, just let me know. Oh, fuck. The game just uh, crashed. Okay, so the game crashed. 
And I'm gonna try and resume it from here. Okay. So, uh... Anyways, uh, just to finish the video, I bought uh, the Jeep. Uh, this is the other car that I have. And I'll do a quick video, you know, customizing right, so it. So, this is your new car. You can just stay here and admire her beauty if you like. Or if you want to add any visual upgrades, just let me know. When you're done, just well, anyways, drive her out into uh, the Guys, I hope you like the Forza, at least what I have been showing you so far. And I'll probably do another video customizing car uh, just in a bit. Anyways, cheers. And if you have been watching the video up to this point, I thank you a lot. And you have a good one.